Hello everyone, this is Big Beauty and welcome to another tutorial. So today we are going to learn about this beaded necklace. This beautiful, elegant beaded necklace. Everybody can make this. If you are a beginner, you can make this. It has no limit and you can choose your own colors. You don't necessarily have to use mine like a bit that I use. So I'll walk you through how I achieved this. Pretty, pretty beautiful. So these are the materials that I have for this project, okay? I have your rice bead, multicolored, and this is how it's looking like. It's a multicolored bead. Very, very beautiful. So this is a rice bead. And I have here copper in 6 OC bead. This is 11 OC bead silver, silver color. I have here my chain this much, just this much. You don't need it long for this project, this much. For the finishing part of our beading necklace, I have my clasp and my jump ring over here. I have two jump rings. Then I have my, my thread that I'm going to use for the beading. And I'm going to use my DIY beading needles. Okay, these are the materials and I have my cutters and my pliers over here to cut any line. So this beading needle, I'm going to use size 11. Okay, I'm going to use size 11 beading needle in this project. So let's get started. You can get the thread how long your arm can take it, but not too much. You can take like 20, 25 inches long and start it. So this thread, we are going to put a stopper bead on it. This is a stopper bead, we put one bead on it. So at the tail, leave like 6 to 7 inches. Okay, so I'm going to go back with my needle and come through this bead it's called the stopper bead and this will help our bead not run down the thread it will hold it there when we put bead on the thread so this is how you put the stopper bead on now i have eight bead okay i'm threading it eight bead pull it down so with this 8 bead, I'm going to pick another 4 bead. So 4 bead, I pick 4 bead. And I'm going to divide this 8 bead on my line. I'm going to divide it into 2. And my needle is going to go through the top 4. Like this. It's going through this top 4. And I'm going to pull. Okay, come through the top four and pull. I'm taking my time here so everybody can see what I'm doing. Pull and pull the line too. So this is what you have after the first one, okay? Now, I'm going to pick up one rice bead and one seed bead, one 11 seed bead. 11 0 I'm going to drop it down you drop this down you push I'm pushing the 11 0 and coming through only through the rice bead and into 6 bead okay 6 bead remember we take 8 now I'm coming the needle is coming through the 6 bead and pull now one copper bead, my 6 OC bead, I'm going to go through this four bead on the side, like this. And pull. So this is the first one. This is how the first one look like, like this. Remember we start with eight bead. I'm going to pick up Eight bead again. This 
this 8 bead on the needle okay I'm going to bring it down on the line this time I'm coming down and we are going to divide this bead into two I'm going to scoop four four I'm going to go through my needle is going to go through only four bead okay and pull make sure you're pulling your thread to tight like this very simple I pick up one rice bead 11 0 and drop it down I'm passing through only the rice bead into the six bead come down into six bead and pull one six oh I'm coming through the four bead on the side just like that and pull Now we are repeating again. I'm going to pick up eight seed bead. I pick another eight. I'm dropping all down. Come down. The eight bead that you pick, come down, push it up a little bit so you can have a space to count four. Go through four bead. My needle is in four bead. Pull. Like this. I'm going to pick one rice bead and one eleven o. I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to push this 11 to the top a little bit I come through the right speed and down into the six speed there my needle is coming through the six speed and pull now I'm picking this six OC bead right here and go through the four on the side This is how it's looking like so far. It's easy and simple. Just follow the stairs and you you make your beautiful necklace. I pick another eight of the 11 0 I drop it down. Now I'm coming to the bit, push it up a little bit, go through four, four bead. Okay, like this. And pull well now I'm going to pick up the rice bead again this one I'm just making a pattern with the colors in the rice bead so I pick one rice bead and one eleven oh and pull down push the eleven oh and go through the rice bead and down into the six bead and pull. Six O. My six O C bead. Then I'm going to go through the four bead on the side and pull. Like this. I'm going to pick up another eight. Going to pull it down on the line and now I'm going to go through four bead push it up a little bit so you can have a space to go through the four bead 
four bead and pull I'm going to pick up one rice bead and 11 o drop it down push the 11 o up a little bit and come through the rice bead into the 6 bead down and pull 1 6 o go through the 4 bead on the side and pull Eight bead, eight seed bead, and pull it down. I'm going to go through the four and pull. So again, I'm going to repeat my rice bead and the eleven o again to complete that one. Over here, you have to feel free to use your own bead. Use your roundel, your pearls, and your bicons to decorate it. Then I'm going to pull it down. I'm now going to go through the 11 o so I push it up a little bit to get a space and go through my rice bead. Into the 6 bead, pull it down. 6-0, I pick my 6 oc bead and I go through all these four beads like that. So this is what we are going to repeat and I want you to do yours, repeat it over and over and put it around your neck and see if it fits around your neck. Feel free to make this beaded necklace your own okay you can replace these ones with your bicons your your pearls your whatever bead you have around you can replace it with it to make it look pretty you see make it your own a beaded necklace you don't have to go and buy a rice bead or anything just what you have around just make good use of it do yours and come and meet me here so this is the chain that I've made and this is the design lamp that I want and now that is done we just have to finish it completely with chain and the hook and that's it that's all we have look at the beauty of this chain look at how beautiful it is it looks so beautiful so now we need our this is our clasp this is our jump ring and our chain to put on it but first we have to make a loop around the bead so I have five bead on five bead on my on my beading needle and I'm going to go through and I pull it down okay pull it down and I'm going to go through this first bead on the edge over here I'm going to go through I'm just trying to make a loop around this bead so I pull it down and I'm going to go through the second time. I'm going to go through all this bead the second time just to reinforce it to make it secure. Make it strong over there. So I'm going through all the bead in this circle. I'm going through this one too and pull. Okay, now I'm going to make a loop. I'm making a loop over here because I want to tie it over here. So I'm making a loop and I pull to tie my line over there. Then I'm going through, I'm again, make a loop and tie. Make sure you tie in between the bead over there here yeah, landed in between so this line I'm going to pull it through this bead over here just trying to hide the line so that that knot over there I'll pull it through the bead 
so it doesn't show okay I'm just going through the bead and go through this copper bead over here and I'm making a loop I'm making a loop over here and I'm tying the second time over here to make sure my my necklace is secured so I'm done and I just have to cut the line off so simple huh it's really simple now this is this is my jump ring I'm going to open it open it you bring it towards you I'm going to hook it onto this ring right here and I'm going to put the chain in it drop the chain inside it and close it back just make sure it's well closed I'm going to push both ends close and make it tight like this now let's do the second part so this is the tail we left before we start beading this is the stopper bead over here just slide it on the line it's just gonna slide easily like this okay and put it down so with these two beads you can either take it out and add five bead or leave it on the line and add three bead to continue your beading so now we are going to put our line into our beading needle so we can make a loop on that first bead now I'm done putting the needle in I'm going to pick up five bead five bead and I'm going to push it down I'm going to go through the first bead at the edge over here like how we did for the first part a pull I'm going to go through all this bead again to reinforce it go through all this bead and make make it strong okay that's all I'm doing here nothing special so go through it you make a loop wherever you feel you can make the loop and tie it over there so I'm going to tie mine over here tie the first loop over here I'm going to go through the bead again and go around it I'm going to tie over here I'm tying over here I'm going to go through this bead and go down and tie again in between the bead and I'm going down into the rice bead and into this 11 o and pull I'm going to cut it right here so with this I'm going to pull my ring I'm going to open it first open and pull it through this loop that we make over here then I'm going to hook my clasp on it like this and I'll close it back you close it back and make sure press on 
both ends push it together so it becomes so tight and that class will not drop will not slip out of the ring you open it and wear it okay this is how you make your necklace simple 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 everybody can do it even beginners can do it this is how you make your beaded necklace so I'm done thank you for spending this time with me again and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please share my videos and also turn on your post notification for any new video that I'll be uploading. Thank you.